Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm like a dark. Walk, 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 walk to my page. My page is about common sense. I tried to keep it down and the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes to something very, 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 very fucking important and not important to liberals, libertards, people who believe in God, people like to smoke, people like to drink, people like Awasa, people like DMT. That's like 80% of you, 80% of you masses of asses. Listeners, discretion is advised. Uh, please read my credentials down below. If you have any comments, questions, insults, or even roast fest, you put it down below. All right. Um, these videos are pertaining to go um, down the rabbit hole, but not up your asshole. And you should already know who the hell I am, as cringy as I am, right? Okay. Now, I like to talk about things and keep it under 10 minutes, under wraps. I don't like wasting people's times. And I know people have low attention spans. I don't really care. For most majority of you, okay? Because I care more for animals than humans. But I don't fuck the animals. There you go. And I'm not Joe Average, man. I'm not Joe Peter, man. I'm your friendly neighborhood psychologist, schizologist, psychopathic, schizo, indigo child. If you don't know what none of those things is, ask me a question. Okay, all right. So this is all entertainment purposes, how it works on YouTube. And the topic for today will be about how to not come off as a narcissist. All right, because I study psychopathy, I study psychology and yada, yada, yada. OK, I just try to keep it down as best as possible because there's different many variations of a narcissism out there. But a lot of people will automatically claim to say that a narcissist is just full of himself. OK, but that's not always the case. That's not always the case. Women love narcissists, by the way. Okay? Women are drawn to narcissists. Okay? And I try to teach women to avoid certain types types of narcissists, which is true. Okay? It does exist. But most of the time, the women are the narcissists, but the men are not. Okay? All right. But that's, that's, that's what this video is going to be about today is how to become... How to come off not as a narcissist, but actually control things and actually hear both sides of the fence rather than just saying my way or the highway. Because I usually say my way or the highway just to be strict, okay, just to have high standards, okay. But there are people who would just automatically look at you as the bad guy when you say some shit like that. So let's start beginning right now, okay. Um, to be high value as a man is very hard because most men are not really high value to me they're not high value by fact and by far okay ask a series of questions you start to understand they their standards when it comes to relationships is very low and subpar beneath they beneath me okay as you should already know i've been called many things on the youtube People consider me ha have a cringe channel i don't care what they channel call my cringe <laughs> i really don't care but i start off like this when I talk to people, I usually tell them who I am in advance. That completely eradicates the idea that you are a narcissist. If I tell you this is what I don't want to hear and this is what I'm not going to compromise with, she has to take an account to understand what I just said. If she didn't hear me, then that's on her problem with her hearing comprehension skills. There are people out there who are very disciplined, okay, which does not make them narcissists at all, okay? As a matter of fact, everybody can be compromised with. So it, let's say, for instance, I say, I don't want this. I don't want that, that, that. I am not going to compromise these five things. Right? Okay. And it could be more. Okay. But as I go along, I will just basically tell her up front and everybody who I know, just don't cross these 10 things. At least have 10 things. 10 things that you will not tolerate. Okay. And 10 things you can compromise with. Okay. Nine times out of ten, when someone tries to argue with you, it's usually they don't see your side of the fence. So this is how you cannot become a narcissist by explaining to them why you don't believe in their uh, suggestions or their opinions. Okay, because it really doesn't matter. Opinions and shit and being subjective doesn't matter when it comes down to you being, you know, you know, having high standards. Most people don't have high standards. This is why eighty percent of relationships fail because they don't have any form of standards and that's all that's all she wrote baby so let's say for instance you're in a relationship and like i said before let me give you a little great example okay 
Um, I don't like salt on my fish. This is an example. And I say, when you're in a relationship with me, we will not have any salt in our relationship. Okay? You have joined a relationship, which I told you in advance, that we're not going to be eating salt in our relationship. Now, I know that's impossible to do, but this is just an example. If you have actually told the person this up front, then that doesn't make you a narcissist. It makes you very clear. But as I said before, a lot of people don't understand the terminology of what a narcissist is. There's good narcissists, which is which is your boss. When you go to your job, your job tells you to do it this way and this is how it should be done. Okay, that's a good narcissist. He's a boss. Okay? And then there's the bad narcissist who don't tell you shit. And they only think about themselves. They don't have no remorse for your emotions at all. The key element here is is at all. Uh, lots of women think that when they get with certain types of men who are disciplined, they'll automatically think of them a narcissist when they're in charge. Okay? Especially when they have certain standards that they have to have. But 9 to the 10, it's the woman that's being a narcissist because she's trying to change and alter his, 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 his standards to her standards. As we should already know by fact and by far, women are the number one narcissist. A lot of times when you hear women talking about this type of shit, like a oh, man is usually a narcissist, it's usually she's the narcissist. Yes, she's the narcissist because she doesn't understand the values of how low... St men have low standards, so how can they be so high of a, a narcissist unless they're fucking with the 20 to 25% of the guys who are fuckboys, who pretty boys, guys who got a lot of money because they got their shit together, Right? All right. OK, so that's all I really want to say about that. I hope that makes some things a lot of clear. When you're upfront about things and you lay down a foundation, you're not a narcissist at all. As a matter of fact, you may be considered a good narcissist because you got your P's and Q's together. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying you're the type of guy who would just not listen to anything a woman says, because that's kind of wrong. Like if my, my wife will argue with me about she wants the kid to go to school. And I told her clearly we are not going to put our kids in school beforehand. That does not make me narcissist. It doesn't make me controlling. It's just that if I can prove to you the reason why we are going to not have our children in school, then you're going to listen to me out and you're going to understand and do the research to do it. But that's different. OK, lots of people don't do that. They don't give an explanation to the person who they're talking to about why you're not going to be able to do that, because that's not part of the agreement in our relation. This is why I don't really get too emotionally attached to anything because once you're emotionally attached they tend to take if you give them an inch they'll take a mile so that's where you comes that where it comes into where you have to test their love and their respect for you before you go f venture far out i tell women all the time you got to be a virgin you got to meet the polygyny you got to be if you want to change your mind we got three ways out you got to give them a way out okay well if that pitch take the third the bad way out there's a professional way, there's a good way, and then there's a bad way. Professional, good way, and the bad way. Okay? And you got to give them a way out, okay? Um, other than that, if you don't give a, a woman a way out of her circumstances, you could be a controlling motherfucker. Okay? Alright? So try your best to explain things up front before uh, you're called controlling or some shit. Because I'm not controlling at all. I don't do that shit. Maybe my daughter say... I'm not controlling. The only thing I control is things have to, that has to be cleaned and respect. I respect is number one for me, and I have to have the house clean because I have OCD with certain things that will not, I will not tolerate. Okay, I will not tolerate disrespect, and I will not tolerate a dirty house. Okay, okay. But other than that, that's all I really got to say, guys. So that's how you you should never be considered a, a narcissist. Okay. Especially if you're not thoughting around on a camera like women do. They always pose and doing all these shaking their ass and spreading their cheeks and doing all that jigglypuff type bullshit, which is a waste of time. But other than that, that's it. That's all I really got to say. I hope you learned something in this video. It's under 10 minutes. I'm your friendly neighborhood schizologist. And a schizologist is someone who does have schizophrenia, who has it all together, who do have control, who is pretty um, like a psychologist in a sense, like a therapist, because I've talked to hundreds of people in my past. Check out my credentials down below. You know, now you're not going to find nobody like me on the Internet. And what I'm talking about is usually like kind of like common sense, but it's really like psychology because I like psychology. And I'm not I'm nothing pseudo. I don't do pseudo shit. OK, but other than that, to each his own, because I'm a Joe average man. I'm not Joe Peter Pan. If anything I say is wrong, please come attack me as soon as possible. 
I'm on Mandel Evans XX, okay? All right? Peace.